Hey guys, my name is Danny, this is TechRage, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Google Play Music Desktop Player. Now this is open source and it is also cross-platform, so this will work say if you're at work and you have to use Windows 10 or any sort of Windows or Mac, you know, if you're a graphics designer or for whatever reason, you can still use this player there. Uh, it works with the latest OS X Sierra as well as Windows 10. Um, now I've had great experience with it on Windows 10. I'm not really sure on Mac, but I've had the same exact experience that I had on Linux with Windows. Right, guys. So, uh, you know, the the player, the desktop player, right? It's basically a wrapper of the browser version of Google Play Music. Right. So they basically took the Chrome, Google Chrome, I believe, the app from the App Store, but it really is just a shortcut for the website. I really don't see any difference. And then uh, they took that, then they made it a standalone app by putting borders around it, you know, but also built in features, which is why I think, you know, if you're using Google Play Music right now, I think you should be using this desktop player instead of the browser because you're not tied in to the browser. And I'm going to show you what I mean. All right, guys. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be leaving all the links down below on the this site here to download it, as well as their GitHub site so you can view the source code yourself now that's the beauty of linux well yeah you linux but also open source it's that you can view the source code it's one thing i enjoy the most um i don't happen to view the source code as often because uh, unfortunately i don't have as much time but if uh you do you know you are concerned for your security if you want to see what this desktop player does go right ahead guys look at the source code and if you want to so report any issues, you know, feel free to contact the dev. You know, uh, there's always issues reported all the time. See right here, right there, all right, guys. So, and right there, you can submit new issue. But of course, you have to register with GitHub first. All right. So, the way you'll do this is you first go over here, download. And then there you go. It's as simple as that. So you you have Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. So Linux, I'm gonna do because I am on elementary OS Loki 64 bit. So I'm gonna do Debian 64 bit. And bam, you save. And uh, I'm not gonna launch it because well, I'm not gonna save it and try to install it because um I already have it here, right? But for those people. Um, you know, who are wondering, you know, how to do it, how to go after this. It really is simple. So if you do save, go to your downloads folder and then just double click it because it's a dot deb, right? So it'll launch to your, your, um, app store on your desktop. And then you just click install, type in your password and then it'll install. Voila. Easy as that. All right, guys. Um, what else? Uh, there's that, there's that. Right. Now, one thing I really enjoy about this player, it's that, you know, the customizable experience, right? The flexibility, right? Of not being tied in within the browser. Right. So this is it right now. Okay. And I have it paused at this song. Right. And I can also open up the artwork by clicking here. Very cool, by the way. So, um, say like I, I have the browser closed and I'm doing some photo editing or something or some gaming. And um, I don't want to have to always go, you know, within the app to, you know, change the song and then close it back, right? What I could do is go up here, and now you see I toggled these options from the application. So now I can do show, which will relaunch the application. I can pause or skip, pause, pause or play a current track, as well as skip to the next track, thumbs up or thumbs down the current song that's being played right and uh, you have all these other settings also desktop settings which I want to get into right now now this is one of the key features of this desktop player is the desktop setting so if we click here right now you see I have all these settings that I can do so first thing I can do is change the coloring right which I loved because honestly if I can't make things dark on my desktop, right, it'll be very hard for me to use it because I use my desktop often. I'm on, I use computers every day, right, especially at work, and um, it's hard for me. It's hard for my eyes. So what I do is, oh, 
And even if uh, you don't go through here, right? And by the way, I have used this player on different distributions, whether it's Deepin OS or Lin Linux Mint. I have used it there and it works just fine. Even um, Ubuntu Mate. Um, you'll have these options there. Okay. Now you see, I clicked light right here on the custom theme. Now it changed it to light. Now I can also change the highlight color or the accent theme. Right, so originally I had it at orange to keep it with the color scheme of the desktop player, but that was too irritating for my eyes, so I keep it at blue and dark. Dark. It's a dark. <laughs> Alright, so you can do that. Also, there's a mini player, which is pretty cool. You can minimize the whole entire player so it only shows the current artwork of the current song you're playing right now. There's also Last FM integration. So if you use Last FM, there you go. Now you have the radio connected to your player. You can also set up hotkeys, guys. So that's pretty cool. So you can set up hotkeys for playing. So if you don't have those options, you know, those pause and play um, keys on your keyboard, well, you can customize it here by doing maybe Control Alt P. It's really up to you. Uh, yeah, audio device, guys. You can choose between which audio device to have the music playing at. So right now I have my headset connected, so I'll be playing through there. But I can have it play through the speakers and not play through my headset. Right now, and then also you have custom themes. Let's see right here. Yep, you can load in your own CSS files, right, and import them there. Right, so, um, and uh, the reason for that, like I said, because it's a wrapper, so that's why it's easier to integrate the CSS. So it's like, it's basically just like a web, the web version just wrapped up in an application. So that's how you can import the CSS. Um, yeah, now let me just get out of this real quick. So I'll close that because you saw I got the desktop settings through here. Now I'm gonna open it back up, right? Click here. Ugh, I'm gonna change that back. Pause it, pause this video. <laughs> um, no, it looks nice though. I, it does, it does, especially with the season, you know, November, Thanksgiving, and all. But no, it's not good for my eyes. <laughs> um, and yes, I know my wallpaper is orange, but that's the only thing that's orange. Uh, that's bright enough to irritate my eyes. But um, yeah. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> so go under desktop settings, right? And so you'll click the left side, right? And you'll access the same exact settings that you access there, right? So you see, you go up here, go down here, right? Now what's pretty cool is the mini player. So if I don't want all of this, I think it's too much, you know? I just don't, I just don't want to, I just want to see the artwork. I just click here at the bottom, right? And there you go. Now I have this player. I can minimize, maximize it and play. Alright guys, so there's that, right? I could even launch it through YouTube. If I want to see the actual video, I can just click this and it'll go to the YouTube app, right? Or if I want to bring it back, show mini player. There you go. Although I'm not really sure why I did that. Okay, that's weird. Just the, the wording is a bit off. They should be saying show, I guess, a max player. I don't know how they word it, but I don't know why it says show mini player. But whatever, it does what it needs to do. That's what I wanted to do. So, change this back. And yeah, guys, I really recommend it. You know, if you're using, especially if you're using YouTube Red, you know, you want to take advantage of, you know, your playlist and all, and get a more customized experience, I highly suggest that you guys use it. You know? Oh, what am I? What am I? Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, whatever, I'll just change this later, though. Right? You see, sorry about that. Um, I had unchecked custom themes, so once you do that, you can't see these options. I was wondering why I couldn't see it for a second. So, there's that. Right, and there you go. Like I was able to navigate through all my libraries, you know, seamlessly, just fine, no issues. Right, I've had a great experience too on the Windows version. Works really well. You can access your podcasts here. Uh, what else? You can do what's listening now. You can browse the stations here, right? So it's very cool, guys. The theme goes through every single page. I haven't come across any theming issues. So once you change the color, 
it'll actually go through every single option that you click within the player it's pretty cool guys oh and another thing they also have a remote controller or an app controller right right currently they only have it for Android right so you can access this app right going down here on their home page and right here get it a Google Play so it's pretty cool um, I've installed it a couple days ago and I was using it on my desktop and it seems to work pretty well I've had had any issues and I'm actually kind of surprised because I've tried using a few before in the past and some of them just suck right and you see here they have nothing but good reviews here so I highly suggest you guys to use it there's also one coming for iOS if you have an iPhone you'll be getting that soon and uh, yeah guys so I'll be putting this down below and if you enjoy you know and just like any other open source project right if you enjoy what they do right because these guys are working hard right to doing what they do donate to them guys right here even if it's like a dollar five dollars right donate to them right there um, there are many there I, I try to donate as much as I can especially recently um, I've been donating to Linux Mint um, I've donated to them at least twice within a matter of uh, like four months I mean I know it's not as much but it's what I could do right now and I'm happy to give to them because I love what they do great work um, my brother right now um, he actually I had to switch him back to Linux Mint because he wanted more of a Windows type experience and he loves it it works really well for him he loves the app store so you know guys if you, you like any of these projects I highly suggest for you guys to donate LibreOffice whatever it may be Firefox um, yeah guys so that's really it uh, what else did I think of um, yeah so feel free to check out my other videos guys I'm actually really happy with the way this channel is doing um, currently all my videos have over 100 views so that's really cool I had just started this channel just about four weeks ago officially I've actually had this um, page up for a while but I have never used it so I'm really happy where things are going um, yeah guys so I'm gonna try to provide you guys with a lot more open source even cross-platform softwares right so it'll be you know like desktop softwares like this one but also it could also be extensions like I show you right here open source alternative uBlock origin right it is an open source app blocker that works for Chrome as well as for Firefox really cool guys works really well I would highly recommend it because um, if you want to know more about the whole issue with what happened with adblock plus and them basically selling ads and compromising on your security um, your privacy I highly suggest for you guys to check out this video it explains more about it now they're basically selling ads right and that's wrong you know it's basically doing what it shouldn't be doing so uBlock Origin is great I have also the links down um, in the description for that video for the source code on github and uh, where you can install it for Google Chrome or Firefox alright guys so my name is Danny this is TechRage and I'll see you guys in the next video